Hello and welcome back to another VX tutorial. Uh, for this part, I'm going to need a map to work with. So just a short little thing on maps. You have to have a map down instead of events. So make sure you have map clicked. Pencil, which would do block by block, square or rectangle, make a giant square, or a straight line if you just have one tile long. Circle or ellipse will make a circular pattern, and fill will completely fill it. You can do uh, different magnifications, and if you click this little dude icon here for passage settings. Uh, X is non-passable. Circle would be like a floor. And a star, like on this part of the tree, means you can walk behind it. So I'm going to make me a very quick and not too impressive map to work on here. house. The roof of the house. Uh, random fence here. Mapping a little faster. Maybe add some tall grass and stop deleting the house from that. Clicking properly. Uh, tossing the tree so I can show off the uh, walk behind thing. Tossing a few trees. Tossing a few cut down trees. Uh, set a sign. Uh, let's actually add a path. player might actually like a path to know where they can head to. Can I make it go around obstacles? And I'm making a path to nowhere. But oh well. It's still a path. And probably add more later. Time. So now that I have that, it's decorate the house a little bit. Uh, yeah, that worked. And a little personal thing I like to do on the uh, houses. add a uh, one tile right here where the door is going to be. Normally with whatever the tile on the inside of the house is going to be. Because uh, adding the default door, which let me make a map we can actually go to. Uh, adding the default door. Uh, 
of whatever graphic you want. It doesn't really matter. But if you do this, and let me show that off, it will have you walk one space forward. And if you actually don't have that clear, then it will just look odd that your player is walking into a wall. So, now that's straight you have to at the default doorway, which you, you know is coming here and edit stuff, you can edit the sounds. If you add something you want to fix, just change the door graphic. Sound for moving across the map. Let's make a uh, make this sign chase say something. Wait, so I'm just gonna say this is Ember's house. And uh, these arrows here. They're supposed to be for this is the end for having a face graphic. This is the end for not having a face graphic. But if you can kind of see that you have a like blocks here, the cutoff point is actually about right here, and these arrows are not always accurate. Like you cut off. Maybe around right here. So now that I have that done, and let's add a random hole in the path right here for no reason. on the inside. And if anyone's wondering the reason why I do two block two block high walls is because uh, if your character is standing up against the wall, you will take up one block. Unless you're doing like a cramped area, like a uh, hidden passage or something. Most houses are not exactly, uh, most houses do not have the roof directly on your head. So that is why I do it that way. Let's add some windows on the inside. So it looks like they actually have a little bit of light showing. here for no reason. And actually, there is a reason. I said that those two items are not uh, passable. Which, that 
actually doesn't matter if I'm going to have it do, but if there's a cutscene or something you want to have happen, then you'd want to have a one block space so that the player will have to walk through it. And I'll have her talk when we try talking to her. Yes or no, but you can change it. Uh, you choose whatever command you get for cancel. And if it's yes, we're gonna have it show a message saying that she joined. And remember to spell. according to what you set in the database. If you do not have it initialized, that means like uh, if she was removed for whatever reason, and you add her without initializing it, then whatever she had when she left, it would be, be exactly the same when she comes back. Which for the point of this, I want it to initialize so that it's exactly same. And if you know, we'll just have her say, uh, tell her that, have her tell us that she will stay here.
why I'm testing this. I'd like to say that uh, future tutorials may not be uh, commentated on. That way I can record more without having to worry about uh, having time to actually commentate over it. As you can see, this is empty space now. I walk over it. I come down here and forgot that I didn't set that player touch. Forgot that I didn't change my sign. So I'll just make those uh, small adjustments. Player touch means uh, player stands on it, it will activate. Action button means they have to use the action button. If it's below, they have to stand on it to use it. Event touch means if any event walks over it. Auto run will basically mean the game will pause just to run the event. Parallel process will be uh, walks the uh, it works while your player can still run around. Below player would basically mean you can stand on it. Same will mean that it will be like any other obstacle. Above means it will actually float over the player. Uh, if you set through, that means it can uh, go through your player. Uh, direction fix means it just won't change direction. If you're, uh, if the player interacts with it, it would not change direction. And then, uh, stepping and walking animation would just make it uh, animate. So I fix that. I fix my sign. That way, it's so I can be beside it up on top of it, since I have the normal sign here, I can actually walk on it. But, uh, as I was saying before, future videos may not be commentated, that's just so I can uh, get them out faster and record easier, and then just have music playing over it. That just about covers everything I want to do. So I explain the mapping. Just kind of try and make it more interesting than mine. You don't always have to make a gigantic map. If you have to, just use a whole bunch of small detailed maps. Which are actually better because if you have a huge one like this, and I have people and everything walking all around it, then it's going to slow down the map a lot. And some people won't want to play the game at all if it's that laggy or that slow. So just be careful with that. And with all that said, I'm going to end this part and see you on the next part.